All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. We got some breaking Jets news that literally came out a couple minutes ago here from Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network. The Jets have informed guard Lakin Tomlinson that he is being released. This move saves the Jets over $8 million against the cap. And when we look at Lakin Tomlinson, yes, he plays. Yes, he's a good leader. Yes, he's been good in the locker room. And yes, he's a veteran. But the play, the above average play, the production, the success, it simply has not been there. And it sucks, right? Because you look at Lakin Tomlinson, he was obviously great with the San Francisco 49ers. He was one of Joe Douglas's guys. He brings him over on a three-year contract worth $40 million. It was a big, big contract at the time. But I can't think of another situation in the NFL where you're paying over 18 plus, 18 plus million dollars for below average guard play. We haven't seen Lakin have success in either the Mike LaFleur system or the Nathaniel Hackett system, I, I think there was an argument to potentially keeping him, right? Hey, do you want a pay cut? If he would accept that, obviously he, you know, he would stick on the team at a lower rate. And you look at the current state of the Jets offensive line. We don't know who the left tackle is going to be. We don't know who the right tackle is going to be. We don't know. We don't have much depth whatsoever on the offensive line. Tittman's going into year two. I feel great about him. But AVT, as much as I love him as a player, he is coming off his second season ending injury. So how much, like, th there's a lot of question marks there. Now we're in a position where we're releasing the former starting left guard. So now we have another hole, another vacancy uh, to fill here on this offensive line. The good news, there are a lot of options here. There's a lot of options in the free agent market alone at left guard. Right. We can talk about Andres Pete. We can talk about Kevin Zeitler. The, Connor Williams, I think, is an interesting option for the Miami Dolphins. You know, center experience. Um, I, I, I think at the end of the day, with saving this $8 million, I, I mean, essentially, this is not an over-exaggeration here. You can go out and sign another left guard, get better play at a cheaper price. You can't beat that. I mean, you can't beat that, right? You're getting better play. You're getting an upgrade for a cheaper price for a win now football team that has a hole at wide receiver two and really it's slot wide receiver that needs a backup quarterback that might need some safety dealt uh some safety depth as well as adding tackles and depth across the offensive line that is pretty encouraging now the downside here of letting uh, again of of letting lakin go is that he's been the only consistent starter of the bunch. The last place I want to be as a Jet fan is we bring in a guard and now he's getting hurt all the time. And now we have a revolving door there. You know, if we think back to when Joe Douglas initially took over, we were okay at tackle. It was the, the inside of the offensive line. Those the two guard positions in center. That's where the problems uh, really stem from offensively. You know, with Adam Gase and whatnot, even before Gase, um, you know, at, at the end of the Todd Bowles era. It was the inside of the offensive line. Uh, and now it kind of seems like we're, we're trying to, you know, obviously trying to roll out the best five. But at the end of the day, Lake and Tomlinson set to hit the open market. And the Jets now have another hole on the O-line. Good news. We're saving a lot of money. And we're probably, I don't want to jinx anything, but we're, it's looking like we're going to be getting an upgrade there for a cheaper price. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.